So when should you quit an adaptation? In this video, we'll talk about Newcover syndrome, also known as NS, oversleeping syndrome or OSS, and uh, stagnation in the adaptation progress. How to notice it and how to take action against it. Hello everybody and welcome back to the channel. My name is Crimson Flower and I'm one of the main authors of Polyphasic.net, the community recommended resource for polyphasic sleepers. So let's start by newcomer syndrome. Newcomer syndrome describes a situation where someone new to polyphasic sleep decides to attempt the hardest schedules there are like Uberman, Dimaction and Tesla while knowing that they don't have a mutation that allows them to sleep less during the day and still feel alert. Um, this syndrome is severe because it cultivates the misconception that everybody can sleep two hours each day while gaining superhuman productivity, which really isn't the case. The adaptation to these hostile schedules is extremely severe, uh, let alone sticking with them long term, why, which can cause physical or mental exhaustion due to the great lack of the amount of vital sleep stages that you get. If you're a newcomer, uh, please be realistic when choosing a sleep schedule for yourself and take the time to consider what's best for your well-being. If you feel like a schedule you're attempting is way too hard for you, consider going for an easier schedule instead. And after you've adapted to it, choose instead to do a gradual adaptation to a sleep schedule with a lower total sleep time. This way you'll be able to have checkpoints that you can return to after you failed an adaptation. So if your goal is to do Everyman 3 and you first adapt to Everyman 1, then Everyman 3 extended and then Everyman 3, but you notice that you're not really able to do Everyman 3, you can just return to Everyman 3 extended and focus on having it be your main schedule instead, instead of, you know, having to go all the way back to monophasic sleep, which is one of the benefits of the gradual adaptation method. The next point I want to bring up is when you're stuck in oversleeping syndrome, okay? We made a whole video on oversleeping, and if you haven't seen it, I highly encourage you to watch it. The link to it will be in the description. In the video, we briefly touched on oversleeping syndrome and what it is, but we didn't go deep into it. Oversleeping syndrome applies to people who keep oversleeping when adapting to a sleep schedule, but still keep moving on claiming that they will eventually adapt. The syndrome is fatal for adaptations for a few reasons, because one, continuing to oversleep and trying to adjust will mess up your circadian rhythm and sleep compression entirely. The body is trying to adjust to a new sleep time and a new sleep cycle length, and this can only happen when you aren't oversleeping. And two, as your sleep is not stabilized because you're oversleeping when you're supposed to be awake, you'll fail to adapt to a schedule and thus will constantly be plagued in a sleep deprived state, which is not good by any means. So this is clearly a case when you want to quit your adaptation, do a recovery and then attempt another or the same polyphasic schedule as you just did. Uh, what you particularly want to avoid is the perpetual loop of oversleeping, feeling good, you know, crashing mentally and oversleeping again, adhering to the schedule for a few more days, then oversleeping again, and so on and so on. Uh, this will lead to you being constantly sleep deprived and it's really unhealthy for you. Though I want to point out that uh, you don't need to give up on the schedule after just one oversleep. It's really this, this cycle of oversleeping that's the bad thing that you want to avoid. If you one day crash for an hour, you know, it's a setback, but it's not going to kill your schedule. Don't worry about it too much. Instead, put the energy you learned during the oversleep, you know, what you did wrong, what you could do better, into improving yourself instead of focusing on uh, just doing recovery every time you oversleep. Small mess ups all tolerated and don't kill your adaptation just because you oversleep once. Instead, kill it when you start oversleeping every few days. It's not good. What you can also do is improve your alarm setup. So when you oversleep once, you really bump up the amount of alarms you have. You place more QR codes around your house, you scatter around alarms all around your room to make sure that you wake up, you know. Put more energy into ensuring that you actually wake up when you're supposed to. Take 
active action, not to oversleep again. Okay, the next situation I will talk about is when you notice that your adaptation is stagnating. How do you determine this? Well, I want to start by telling you the length of the adaptation a bit. When people are adapting to their schedules perfectly, they will mostly adapt after between one and two months. However, the longest adaptation I know was around 180 days. That's half a year and it's a really long time to determine what works for you and what doesn't. And I don't really recommend you go for a 180 day adaptation just in case you would adapt at the end. So in any adaptation you will go through the adaptation stages. Uh, first the first one, then the second, then the third, and finally the fourth before you adapt. If you are interested in this process with more detail, we made a whole video on the polyphasic adaptation stages that I'll link in the description so that you can check it out after this video. Regardless, the issue lies with the fourth adaptation stage, okay? See, regardless of which schedule you're attempting, you will progress all the way through the third stage, but that's where it's going to stop if you're not actually allowed or able to adapt to the sleep schedule. You're going to be unable to progress from the fourth stage to the adapted stage and instead be in the fourth stage for you know all through eternity until you die, which is definitely something you want to avoid. And of course there's also another negative side here. It's expected that you should stay in the fourth stage for quite a while. Even a whole month is going to be expected that you stay in this stage. So it's really hard to know when the schedule doesn't work for you because you'll be spending a lot of time in the fourth stage regardless, okay? Still, I have some tips for you that you can make use of. First, be sure to log when you are sleepy very rigidly, okay? If you start noticing a pattern for when you are sleeping between, for when you are sleeping between sleeps, um, you might be in a bad situation. You know, if you every day notice that you're tired at 12 uh, in the day, you know, 12 at noon, and your nap is at 11 in the noon, that's a bad situation. It might be that your schedule is not suited for you and you should actually move your nap time. Um, second, if you notice that your adaptation has completely stagnated, if you haven't been making any sort of progress for two weeks, that's a bad sign. Third, if you own an EEG and you notice that your repartitioning has stopped and you're still feeling tired, that's also a bad thing. For these situations, I suggest you contact experienced people on the topic of polyphasic sleeping to help determine what to do. Um, if, you're worrying, uh, if you're worried about a particular situation, you can do this in the comment sections here, but I'd prefer you join the Discord and ask the people there instead. Okay. I hope this video made things clear for you. Uh, the main thing you want to uh, quit an adaptation for is on a polyphasic schedule is if you have a newcomer syndrome, if you have an oversleeping syndrome or when your adaptation has stagnated. If you have any more questions, be sure to leave them in the comments below. And if you like this video, be sure to give it a thumbs up so that we see that you like this kind of content. And Subscribe if you haven't done that already, so don't miss out when we upload more important videos in the future. Alright, I'll see you in the next video. Remember to have pleasant naps, people!